okay now we'll see the first part of the chapter that is childhood memories that is the cutting of my long hair written by jitkala sa so first we'll do the word meanings and we'll have the explanation of this chapter the first one is the land of apples it means uh the area where apples are grown okay the next one is bear b a r e bear here it is without snow next one next one is bell fry so what do you mean by bell fry place where bell is installed place where bell is installed this you would have seen in your school also okay the next one is sensitive sensitive ears means easily affected easily affected okay the next one is clatter c l a t t e r clatter means sound of objects striking against each other okay the next one is bare floor bare floor this you you know that floor without a carpet okay the next one is under current means in the background the next one is unknown tongue unknown tongue unknown tongue means unknown language you can say here it is unknown tongue means unknown language unknown a language the next one is bedlam b e d l a m bedlam bedlam means confusion you can say and disturbances also you can say okay the next one is murmuring murmuring also you know murmuring means low voice whispering you can say so here what happened here the first day in the land of apples the first day in the land of apples first day in the land of apples there was a bitter cold one for the snow still covered the ground and the trees were bare so here the author jitkala jitkala sha says that that the that the place that is the boarding school here had so many restrictions 
so it was the first day in the land of apples where the apples are grown abundantly so here she is talking about the boarding school that so many restrictions were there she felt very cold because there was snow on the ground snow on trees it was just melting she had some uh, experience a bitter experience on the very first day she was just having suddenly a large bell rang for breakfast and the bell was installed on the upper floor on the upper floor its loud voice of metal came from the place where the bell was installed see here a large bell rang for the breakfast its loud metallic voice crashing through the bell fry overhead and into our sensitive ears so its loud voice of metal came from the place where the bell was installed so the annoying clatter means the sound of the objects it looks like it is striking against each other on bare floors without any carpet gave us no peace means so the sound was very loud for their soft ears so there was a sound of the footsteps also on the floor bare floor so the constant clash of harsh noises were also coming with the undercurrent undercurrent here is in the background which is coming in the background of many voices that uh, it was just murmuring an unknown tongue means unknown language she was able to listen made the bed lamp within which i was securely tied so she was having a confusion disturbances were there created by many voices so she tried jikla sha she tried to regain her freedom but the struggle was useless here so though my spirit tore itself in struggling for its lost freedom all was useless so everything it seemed that it is useless to her so the next one the pale face woman so pale face woman is a white woman here pale face woman it a is a white woman white woman stiff shoes stiff shoes means hard shoes you can say hard shoes closely clinging dresses closely clinging dresses it means tight fitting clothes tight fitting clothes so here shingled hair here what is happening the pale face woman with white hair white hair came up after us we were placed in a line of girls who were marching into the dining room so here the white woman who had a white hair she was walking behind these girls those who were marching into the dining room means those who were moving in the dining room so these were indian girls so these were indian girls so what they have wore they wore uh, stiff shoes and closely clinging dresses means tight fitting clothes they were wearing okay next the small girls wore sleeved aprons and shingled hair so here shingled hair means boy cut hair or 
बॉयकट हेयर और शॉर्ट हेयर यू कैन से शॉर्ट हेयर ओके एज ए वॉक सो दीज स्मॉल गर्ल्स दे वर स्ली दे वोर स्लीवड एपरन एंड श्रिंगल्ड हेयर मीन्स दे बॉयकट वॉज देर शॉर्ट हेयर सो एज आई वॉक नॉर्सलेसली इन माई सॉफ्ट मोकैसेंस I felt like sinking to the floor for my blanket and had been stripped from my shoulders. Sinking to the fl floor means sinking to the floor means feel ashamed. The next one is blanket. You can say dupatta, striped, stripped. Sorry, stripped. Stripped here is moved. Moved. So what happened? The small girls they were wearing aprons which had uh, long sleeves. Their hairs were cut in style of boys' hair. So Jitkala Shah she was wearing her moccasins. So her steps were not making any noise. She was just. feeling ashamed because her scarf was removed from her shoulders here the next part i looked hard at the indian girls i looked hard at the indian girls who seemed not to care but they were even more immodest immodest here is immodestly dressed then i immodest means indecent immodest is in decent okay so here indecent in their tightly fitting clothes while we marched in the boys entered at an opposite door means here uh, this uh, jitkala sha she was just staring at the indian girls so they were not bothered that they dress of tight fitting clothes it looked more indecent immodest than her dress so then they marched into the dining room the boys they came from the opposite direction then i watched for the three young braves who came in our party i spied them in the rear ranks looking as untouchable un uncomfortable as i felt a small bell was tapped and each of the pupil drew a chair from under the from under the table so here young braves what do you mean by young braves young braves means young boys braves here is boys okay rear ranks what do you mean by rear ranks rear ranks is the back row the students those who are sitting at back back row students okay the next one is drew drew here is pulled drew is pulled so here what happened when this jitkala sha was looking at those three boys those who, that she looked at the three young boys who came to the dining room they were standing in the back rows then jitkala sha looked at them secretly and noticed that they were also equally uncomfortable here the bell was tapped each people they pulled their chair from under the table next one supposing this act meant they were be seated i pulled out mine and at once slipped into it from one side but when i turned my head but when i turned my head i saw that i was the only one seated
and all the rest at our table remained standing so she imagined that after pulling the chair everybody would sit in the chair so she pulled her chair and immediately sat on it but when she looked around she noticed that she was the only person sitting everybody else at their table were still standing just as i began to rise looking shyly shyly here is nervously shyly means nervously nervously so when she started getting up from the chair she nervously looked at others to understand how the chairs were to be used the second bell was sounded down now the second bell it rang and all were seated at last and i had to crawl back into my chair so crawl here is move slowly so here what happened when the second bell rang now everybody sat on the chair and slowly jitkala sha she uh, got back to her chair and then she sat now i heard a man's voice at at one end at one end of the hall and i looked around to see him but all the others hung their head over their plates so here means she heard the voice of a man he was standing at one end of the hall so jit kala sha turned to look at him that who he was but all the other people they bent their heads to look at their plates next as i glanced as i glanced at the long chain of tables i caught i caught the eye of a pale face woman upon me and immediately i dropped my eyes wandering why i was so keenly watched by the strange woman so here glanced g l a n c e d glance dear is look means as she was just looking at the long chain of the tables she just saw the pale face woman she was just seeing her so immediately she dropped her eyes means i dropped my eyes means jit kala sha she turned her face wondering why i was so keenly watched by the strange woman she was thinking that why she is going to watch her she was not able to understand why this unknown woman she was just watching her very carefully caught the eyes here caught the eyes means making eye contact made eye contact here the next one is drop to my eyes means looked down looked down wandering wandering his not understanding what was happening the next one is keenly keenly here is carefully she was just observing her 